the success of a project like this with so many uh, logistics and uh, people involved really comes down to your crew and support team. Uh, so I want to introduce you guys to people who make it happen behind the scenes. So on the way right now to go visit one of the best support guys you can have, Jackson Jerome. He helped me out immensely in my attempt last year going through some dark times when I was struggling and uh, always, always there. So today we're going to do a marathon for a charity that he's supporting and uh, introduce you to the man. Listen, well, man, he's helped me out with a bunch of my endeavors. Action Jackson here. Hey today guys. we're doing the... Uh, Supporting the YMCA, strong kids running YMCA to YMCA for a marathon, so. Yeah, we've got three Y centers we're running uh, between today to help raise awareness for the YMCA Strong Kids Day today. So, this man's decided to come and join me. We might gas up a little bit. We'll see how quick we can do it, but. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. This guy's crazy. You'll be able to catch this man in the kayak during my swim. So he's a huge help in my one last year and then again this year. So let's get it, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> Boys are holding the four and a half that day. Trying to make that three hour marathon. Wow! Let's go. Number two. Number two! The Kamada family one! There it is, last one. 42.2. Wow. Jack, how was it? It was a sweaty one, man. That was hot. This guy <sighs> did it totally fast, dude. I don't know how you do that. A little hungry, a little thirsty, but. Good did structure it. training, did it for the kids. Did it for the kids, did it for the kids. Why I'm saying strong kids day, that's a wrap. Oh, oh. Now time to refocus on the swimming. Good little cross training, but we got a goal to accomplish, baby. A little change, the more horsepower, let's go. I just picked up a uh, new pair of the goggles I use, but we got uh, my buddy Jackson, who's going to be helping with the real swim. Uh, he's helped me today kayak uh, alongside just for sighting. And uh, I'm just going to get the kayak ready and work on some food before so I can uh, practice what I'll be eating during the real swim. So lock down that uh, practice and uh, wear my new wetsuits and uh, just test everything out a little dress rehearsal. So that's what today is going to hold. We got the bacon going, got the good fats. Avocado, I'll put that on the toast here. Bacon avocado toast. Last year that went down really well on my attempt, so I'm gonna try and stick with that again this year. Test out plastic bananas, a good carb, some uh, frozen or uh, dehydrated mangoes, one of my favorites. And the end all be all bars, the horn beef. These things are gold right here, so. The nutrition for today. Well, that was a damn task. We got her in, made her bed nice and tight. Lane's your best friend in these situations. Lower her up. Well, we're finally ready. Decided to go with the sleeveless one today because last year one of the big issues I had was when my arms got all messed up. I got so cold because I couldn't plane forward in the water. So this year we're testing out. I just want it to be up to me. Even if I'm cold, I want to be able to move forward. But we've got uh, the man Jackson here who's helped me out today. Hey dudes, how you and, doing? And we uh, had a little trouble getting the kayak out, but <laughs> we got her. fit it through that door, that was crazy. Wow, uh, she's oh, all... as crazy as today's swim, man. Yeah, we are locked and loaded. Maybe some thunder? Off we go, let's get it. He's a crazy man, he's a crazy man. Let's get it, buddy. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, but this guy is gonna give her. There's no doubt about it. This lake is absolutely crazy. But this guy's absolutely giving her. So it kind of makes today a good training day for Nick. Getting some practice in the white caps. Whoa! 
There he is back there. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Running him over. Cold. A little chilly. A little chilly. All's at the bridge. There we go. This guy is pure icicles right now. Sleeveless. Early season waters. But getting under that bridge. Getting a feel for what that feeling's gonna feel like. We got some seagulls flying in. Under the bridge. How does it feel? Good, yeah, this is a big part during the real swim because this is over halfway. Okay, so our original goal here today, pass through the bridge, check, he did it. And he was gonna go all the way to Peachland, but I see out his new wetsuit. Uh, he's going sleeveless. I think he solved the chafing problem, which is awesome. With these early season water tanks, the guy's literally freezing right now. I'm kind of worried he's getting hypothermic up there. So a new problem is presented, but it's another problem to work through. That's why he's out here doing these practice swims. Well, I just got done that training swim. Uh, eight waves for the first bit, and it was uh, way colder than I was expecting. We've had some pretty bad weather here lately, and it's turned up the lake quite a bit, and it's freezing cold early in the season still, but it was good at least to get out and uh, try out these new wetsuits and some of the new tactics we're trying out and uh, go back to the drawing board as we're two months out. So we'll try out some new things and take what we learned today, and. Uh, use it to combat the problems we face. So big thanks to the Man Action Jackson for coming out, but train keeps rolling on we go forward. Best thing about swimming outside is even when it's raining, it doesn't matter, you're getting wet anyways. Off we go. Rain died down, straight shot out. That's where we're going today. Straight shot out. All about visualization, man. Visualizing what it'll actually be like to swim out to that point along the lake, your sighting, everything like that. It's all mental. Basically 100% of it's mental games. Just figuring out what you need to tell yourself to get to that point, so. Today was uh, one step closer. Let's go.